Hi, this is Tracy and welcome to another Project Life process video. I have been doing Project Life for a lot of years and this is the first time it's ever taken me three separate times of sitting down to scrapbook in order to get through a single week layout. So take a look at how this one went. It was a bit of a sticky one for me. So I'm starting here with my photos and I do have these, these pieces of paper are actually templates. They're just, uh, they're scored instead of having the lines drawn on them. So I can see where the pocket uh, outlines would go, but you probably can't on the video. So I'm just using this template to help me set up my page and uh, basically trying to spread my photos all around this page so that it's nice and balanced and also so that it tells a bit of a cohesive story. I want photos that go together to be close together so I can add some journaling and that sort of thing. I'm also going to add some flippity flaps here. These are photo flips by Snap, which is a company made by Simple Stories. And uh, I use these all the time. I really love them as a super easy way to add an interactive element to your pages. There are lots of different ways to add flaps and flips and fold outs and that sort of thing. But these for me work the most easily. So I really like to use them. Now I am going through my cards to find some background cards that might be able to go um, behind some of my photos here as needed. So the Kits that I'm working with for this month are the May and June kits from a number of different companies. I have Paper Person, Studio Calico, and the Ali Edwards Stories by the Month kits. Plus, I also have some Ellie Studio Kit kits as well, and they're all from either May or June of those for those kits. So that's what I'm working with. I do, I think I might have received a July kit for one of those companies at this point, but uh, yeah, most of my July kits just came in. So as you can see, I have a big stack of cards to work through and it's really not that helpful to have more cards than what you really need. So I'm going to be cutting down on my subscriptions because I really don't need that many cards coming in. So in theory, the future I'm hoping that this might be a little bit easier because I found this spread a little bit challenging so as you can see I'm just putting three by four cards behind some of my photos I print my photos small when they're lower quality or a less important story to tell and then I print them large when they're nicer photos or a bigger important story to tell so I do want to put a title card on this one. I don't always put title cards, but I do want to put one. So up in the top left hand corner there, I have a card that I don't really know how to use that card with all the banners on it. So I thought maybe I'd use it for a title card. And uh, I'm trying to balance the yellow because there, you see that yellow in the David's T tin up in the top right hand corner. And then there's a big bright yellow uh, card that's diagonal to that and then there's a big chunk of yellow on that rainbow card that's diagonal to that so uh, then there's there's also a hit of yellow in that floral pattern that's over I guess sort of to the left and above that last card that I just talked about so in order to make my title card I am going to look for some bright and colorful thickers so I thought I'd look for maybe some bright pink and now I'm also these these green ones really caught my eye as well. The green ones are called Fantastic and they're Thickers by Dear, Dear Lizzie. And um, then I'm just looking through all of these pinks. I'm not going to use all of them, but basically I want to pull some of the bright colors from this photo up in the top right hand corner. I want to pull the colors over to the top left hand corner. So I'm going to go with these Hip Kit Club stickers. They're exclusive to the Hip Kit Club. I forget which kit they came in. I'm going to spell out week with them and they're really pretty. They're a puffy pink letter sticker, but they're dipped in gold. So they're so pretty. So week 27. And yeah, I like how that looks. It's okay. But ultimately, I think I decided that it was just a little bit too busy and I've you know what I'm deciding? I'm deciding that I just don't like that card with all of the banners on it. And I think I'm just going to either cut up the banners and use them individually or just not use that card. You don't have to use every single card that you get. 
the chances of you loving everything in every kit that you get are very low. And that's not the purpose of kits. The purpose of kits is to give you a, a little sampling of different supplies to work with. Some of it you'll like and some of it you just won't. So I did put two V's there uh, sideways to make them look like arrows. And then I just pulled out my owl my Owl Pack open-ended polyethylene bags. As you can see, I get them two mils. They're six by 12. I really love these bags for storing my stickers, my thickers in, uh, because it helps them to slip really easily in and out of the, pa the packaging instead of having to mess around with packaging. So these Hip Kit Club stickers were not in one of my own packages, so I just repackaged them before I put them away. Now I have this roller date stamp, which is my uh, last roller date stamp that I have that still goes up to 2022. So I've been using it and just not using the design that comes with it. It's, a, it's an old Studio Calico one. And so I just stamped the dates there July 4th and July 10th, because that's the, the range for this month. Now for this one, what I'm going to do is actually cut out each of these little boxes with cameras in them so that I can use it as journaling strips. So I'm just using my little Fiskars trimmer here. This is a little guillotine trimmer. And I'll just throw away all the little extra scrap pieces. And then I'm going to position these so that they're going to give me some space for journaling beside this photo. This is a photo that's really hard to understand what it is that you're looking at when you when you look at it. So I needed to do some captioning here. So on this one that I just stuck on the picture, it says finally set up my teleprompter. And now on these ones, I'm going to journal out using the teleprompter, not for scripts, but to show my clients faces at camera level reduces mental fatigue. And since then, I actually took a much better photo because this one is confusing because I'm on two devices. I'm the therapist and the client. And so because there's two of me, it's really, well, three or four of me because there's also a mirror in there. Um, it's really, really difficult to tell what it is that you're looking at. So I did capture this better since then, but it wasn't in this week. So you might see this photo come up again or a similar photo come up again uh, a couple weeks from then and uh, maybe that will <laughs> I'll be able to describe it a little bit better but basically it uh, reflects like you get your phone to show the same thing that your computer's showing and then you position your phone so that the mirror is exactly where the camera is and then what happens is I can look people in the eyes while I'm talking to them on video and it is it reduces the strain for me as a person who's talking to people for seven or eight hours in a row having to go back and forth and back and forth between the little dot at the top of the computer and their actual face is pretty exhausting and I can't believe it took me over two years of doing this to finally put my teleprompter together because I actually bought my teleprompter really early in the pandemic so that I could do this and reduce my own mental fatigue. And then I just sat on it for a long time. As we do sometimes, right? So next I have this card of the, these couple of photos of Sophie making her tea. And I knew I had some stickers here that might be relevant. So I'm just looking through my Forebear stickers and my Pipstick stickers and just kind of looking for them. I knew I had some bubble tea in there and sure enough, they were in this little, little one here. And they were sticky, so they were hard to get out. So I just put some powder on the back of them so that they don't stick. I had stored them a different way and now I'm storing them this way. So anyhow, I'm going to put a couple of stickers of bubble tea on the, on this spread. And and when I trimmed out my photo, it didn't have the right border on it. So I just added that border with my correction tape. And now I'm going to trim it down even more. So I'll have to add more of a border. <laughs> it's nice to be able to change your mind and not have to remat your photo. I love using my correction tape in that way. So the smaller photo is just of Sophie's hands and the equipment that she uses. So I'm journaling here. It says, Sophie loves the ritual of making boba from scratch. So yummy and the process is so soothing. 
Yeah, she boils the tapioca and makes her own little syrups and and all, does all sorts of things with it. It's a very long process, but she enjoys it. So now I'm just going to put that photo on the back of the card. I printed my photos a little bit smaller today, so that's why they're different. So normally my photo would just go in the pocket, but it was going to float around too much. I'm going to come back to that card later and add some more stuff, but for now, that's what I've got. Then I did take the, the card right beside it and just glued the photo down and put a little caption that just says sunny side and the date. Now we're moving on to this one. This is a photo of my brother-in-law's phone. We were actually doing our movie club when the news broke that Tony Sirico had died. And we were literally sitting there talking about season two of The Sopranos because we're watching that as one of our movies. And um, yeah, we were literally talking about him and Adam's phone lit up and he had died. So uh, that kind of changed our conversation. So I just wanted to document that that happened. And uh, now we're on another day because I had trouble scrapbooking. I don't know what it was. I didn't, I didn't have my mojo or something. So anyhow, I put everything away and did something else. I think I organized some stuff and then I came back. So here I am back. I'm blabbering on about, I don't know what talking to my patrons because I do I do film real time versions of everything so so that's why I'm kind of sitting here idly uh yeah so I'm just kind of thinking about what am I going to do to get started and I decided to start with this one so this is a photo of my daughter she's in her voila shirt she works for Sobeys and she actually works two different positions for Sobeys one is as a cashier and one is as a voila picker so that's voila is the service at our grocery store where you order your groceries online so I'm just writing out what I want to say here I want to say Rocky insists on covering live with cat hair before work and I knew that I wanted to make some of these be letter stickers and some of it be my handwriting and this is going to turn out really awful. So just watch how this comes together. <laughs> yeah, it's just, what am I doing? <laughs> so anyhow, I wound up deciding to do Rocky and work in these blue letter stickers from Paper Person. I love these letter stickers and I love how they're the exact same blue as her Voila t-shirt. Uh, but yeah, that is not doing anything for me. I do not like how that looks at all. So what I just did there, you saw my keyboard comes out, come out. That's always a sign that I am reprinting photos. So <laughs> I am reprinting that because I just don't like that. And so there's the new photo. And what I decided to do was to put a little stick, like a label sticker there. And so that's what I'm going to do. It'll fit fine. I just checked to make sure that everything I want to say will fit on that. And then I decided to rescue the letters instead of taking all new letters off of the sticker sheet. I thought I would just pull off these letter stickers and reuse them. So they're a little bit bent and, and um, ratty looking, but that's okay. So... I'm sticking with my idea of Rocky and work, although I, maybe I should have changed that. I, I still don't love how it turns out, but it's better than it was before. So I'm going to use my pencil this time just to space out and figure out where my words are going to fall. So beside Rocky, I'm putting insists on covering live. And then beside work, I'm putting with cat hair before. So now I'm just going to go over that with my Sharpie pen. And I am using cursive handwriting here. I don't often do cursive handwriting in my project life, but sometimes I do. Then I'm just erasing the pencil lines where it shows where I had kind of roughly put in my handwriting ahead of time. And yeah, I like that better. I'm going to underline my handwriting and that's it. It's not awesome, but it's better, so I'm fine with it. I'm fine. Everything's fine. We're good. We're going to get this page done one way or another. 
<laughs> so I didn't want this card to be so plain, but it's really just a filler card. So I thought I'd look through my stickers and I might be able to find something fun to put on it. I've got lots and lots of fun stickers, but I thought it would be cool if I could find something that might tie into something else that's already on the page instead of just a random cute sticker. Although there's nothing wrong with random cute stickers. I'm going to use these cats because I, I believe these are from, yeah, they're from Forebear. I love that sticker company. It's a Canadian sticker company, probably my favorite. And so there were these little cats and one of them was in a shopping cart. And so where Liv's job is to walk around the store and fill a cart with groceries, with picking grocery orders, I thought that would, would be cute to put right next to her. Now I'm going to revisit that card and add a little bit more to it, but for now I thought... I'm really struggling with this process, so I'm thinking, you know what, good enough, we're done. We're done with that for now. So I'm coming back to this Tony Sirico. I don't know if I'm pronouncing his name right, but but Polly, we're, we're coming back to the card about Polly, which is going to be a flippity flap because I've got the, I've got the photo. And then I also have another photo from the same night and I have some journaling to do as well. So I'll put it in a flippity flap. That way I'll have three, three by four cells to work with. And I really do like the way that the photo of Adam's phone came out. Like I like that you can see the background of the brewery and our table and the, the photo itself from Facebook is super crisp. So I don't want to add anything to that photo. I think the photo looks really great just the way it is. So I'm just going to leave it, but I still have to decide what to put in the other two three by four cells. So one of them is an Ellie Studio card that says a fun night. And I was a little bit hesitant to use that one when talking about somebody's death. But there's sort of two stories here. One is that we were at movie club and that is a fun night. And the other story is that, you know, we're sad to hear that Polly, the, the actor who played Polly has passed away. So this is a photo of our, uh, our car's navigation system. And it shows that we're headed to Off Track Brewery. We'll be there in 31 minutes and the garage door has closed and we're listening to some music. I don't remember what music it was, but the playlist, like the album art is there. So now this is the photo or the card that's above it. It's just a plain blue lined card and I'm spelling out, these are Studio Calico letter stickers. I think they came in the May documenter kit and I'm spelling out, say it ain't so. It just sounds like something Polly might say. I'm cutting out a little apostrophe for my ain't. And I'm just going to straighten up those letters a little bit. And then I'm going to look for an exclamation point, but not find one. So I'm just going to take the I and cut it into two pieces, a long piece and then a little piece that's like a dot. So now my journaling here on this little card with the with the navigation on it, I'm saying driving to off track for movie club Friday. Looks like we'll be on time this week because the week before we were more than half an hour late. I hate being late and I'm never late. And I was, <laughs> I was appalled. I was mortified that we were more than half an hour late, but they didn't care. They totally didn't care. They were just enjoying a beer without us. So anyhow. Uh, I found this stamp and it is from a Kelly Perky bad news, no, from Paper Person, um, bad news, like one of her recent kits, documenter kits, like her Project Life kits, uh, was all themed about like bad news and negative stories. So I'm stamping this one. It says bad, 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 really bad, bad news. And then... I thought I would, and then it says date. So then I thought I'd use my ruler date stamp to add the date in the center of it. So that's that kit right there in my hand. And now I'm going to use that same roller date stamp from Studio Calico. And this time I'm going to use yellow ink. I think it might be Melon Mambo. It could be Daffodil Delight as well. It's a Stampin' Up yellow ink of some sort. Just going to clean off my stamp there. I was going to just clean it by stamping, but it wasn't coming clean. So I'll go ahead and use my stamp chamois to clean that up. 
I like how messy it looks though, so that's good. So my journaling here says, as we sat discussing season two of The Sopranos, Adam's phone had a notification that Tony Sirico, who played Polly, had just died. How sad. He was an amazing actor and we all love Polly so much. Polly, of course, is one of the most memorable characters in the whole show. Besides the main characters, right? Like he's a really great side character. So that one's done. I'll slip this back into my label sticker book. And now let's, uh, let's do this. Oh, this isn't going to go well. All right. So first we'll do this. This is just a screenshot of one of my daughter's stories from Instagram. I'm just writing a caption here. It says, Liv and Sophie drove to the beach to watch the sunset. I thought that's all I need on that, but I will come back to it later when I have more mojo. So then this is a photo of the Syrian ice cream place. And on the back of it here, I'm just writing, it says, this was a fun surprise. And my journaling says, Sophie discovered a new Syrian ice cream shop in Bedford. She and Scott stopped in while running errands. And then on the other card, I'm just mounting that photo of the ice cream themselves. They... They uh, took them outside to the picnic table, I think. And I'm looking for ice cream. I knew I had some little critters that looked like ice cream, like they're animals and ice cream at the same time. They're sort of a weird sticker. They're a very weird sticker, uh, but it's a really cute. They're all ocean creatures, like um, jellyfish and seals and penguins and that sort of thing. Anyhow, I'm just going to, the lines behind it were distracting, so I just used my correction tape to white out the background so that the, the sticker would look more normal there. I'm just going to add some little stars around. I mean, how else are you going to use a ice cream um, seal and penguin sticker? <laughs> so, project life it is. <laughs> So I decided to use those same letter stickers that show up on my title card. Again, those are called Fantastic, and they're by Dear Lizzie. And I'm spelling out yum and yum. I like how that looks. It's fun. It's a fun card. Oh boy, here we go. Uh, so we're, I'm going to do some very ill-fated stamping here. Because I've got all this sky, right? So I thought, oh, there's all this sky. What a great place to do some stamping. I love stamping on my project life. I haven't been doing a whole lot of stamping lately. And I thought it might be really cool to just layer, line up and layer a whole bunch of stamps. But then I got distracted by this yum, which I adore. So I thought, well, why don't I just use these three? Uh, the top one says trying a new place because that's t totally relevant to the story. Um, then it says yum. And then the other one, I forget what it says, but it's a Kelly Perky food related stamp. I think it's from on the menu or something. So I'm going to go to all of this trouble to get this all lined up on my Misty, on my mini Misty. Then I'm going to ink it. Oh, at the last minute, I noticed there's actually an ice cream stamp. So I'll use that one instead, of course. Much more relevant than whatever the circle one was. And that did not work at all, as you can see. That yum stamp is very well loved. And when I re-stamped it, ugh, it stuck to the stamp instead of to the Misty, or it stuck to the photo instead of to the Misty tool. And then I'm like, I'm not going to be able to get this back in the same place, but let's just give it a go just in case I'm able to. But no, it did not work. It just did not work. Yeah, it's all like, you can't tell from the distance how bad it is, but it's really bad. So those stamps are not as sticky as they should be. Like I've tried washing them. I've tried doing different things. And so the only thing that I can do is really just use glue to stick it to my Misty tool. And I forgot. So this is what happens when that happens. <laughs> 
So I think at this point I'm deciding I'm probably never going to use my favorite yum stamp again because it's just, it just doesn't work. Which is sad because I love that stamp set, but all of them are just not sticky enough to use anymore. So I'm going to pull that photo off. And as you, you probably saw my keyboard make a little appearance, that was me reprinting it. So just at the same size that it already was. And now I still want to use that stamp that says trying a new place because it's just so perfect. But I thought, let's not press our luck. I'm just going to use the one stamp and be done with it because I'm not having a good time, <laughs> to be honest. This never happens. I love scrapbooking. I don't know what was wrong with these two particular scrapping sessions, but I was not having any of it. <laughs> it was things were not going my way. I was not really enjoying myself. Yeah. <laughs> so now I have this one, which is a before and after, but I want to put the before on the outside. And then I just decided, you know what, this is enough. I'm done with this now. So, so several days went by. And when I pull it out this time, it was actually this morning and I really felt like doing this. I was like, yes, okay. I'm in, I'm in the zone again. This is the way I usually feel when I do my project life. I'm enthusiastic and really raring to go. So in the meantime, I've received a few more kits. So I got my Studio Calico June kit, which was late. And then a few days later, I got my Studio Calico July kit, which was not late. It was on time. So I have some supplies here that are new to me. So I'm going to go through them and just familiarize myself with what else I have to use. I want to make sure I get anything July themed on my page while it's still July. So I, I thought that that frame really did a nice job of framing in that little kitty cat in the grocery store basket. And then I also rediscovered when I was organizing my room the day that I stopped scrapbooking because I wasn't having fun, I reorganized my room and discovered this roller stamp that I love. It is a Studio Calico roller stamp that has all these to-do items on it. One of them is groceries. So I just stamped groceries on the little frame and it looks really cute with the cat in the grocery cart. Just really sweet. I like how it looks now. Oh, it's so satisfying when things go the way that you want them to go. So then I also received my scrapbook.com order, which I shopped with my patrons. They helped me choose stuff and it came in just the other day. So one of those things is the Pink Fresh Studio. Uh, what is that collection called again? It's called um, Life Right Now. And I knew that there were some tea items and some some yeah some house items so I decided to put two tea stickers from that collection as you see, saw I first put the circle st sticker on the inside but then I pulled it off and put it on the outside and now I think I'll put this ice cream I'd like to put something in the driveway because it doesn't look very nice but I think the ice cream looks better up in the sky even though it does cover a little bit of the roof it's okay, I really like it there, right underneath of the stamp that says trying a new place. So right away I can tell I have more creative mojo because I'm having more ideas. Cards that I was done with, I'm coming back to and thinking, oh no, I can add this or I can add that. And it's really, it's really satisfying when that happens. So I'm coming back to this before and after shot of my basement. I did an organize with me for my patrons where I totally organized my overflow storage area, which First, it had all kinds of household items all over cluttered around the floor of the room. So I cleaned up all that. And then I also just reorganized all of my Jetmax cubes down there. And so I just wanted to document the before and the after. And I had this, this is from the black and white kit from Allie Edwards, her quarterly scrapbooking kit. And I knew that there were some of these sorts of phrases and I was hoping there was before and after. And luckily there was. Things are going my way this time. I don't know. So at first I thought instead of stacking these and having one of them under a flip, I thought it might be impactful to put them side by side, just where it's before and after and I'm kind of setting it up to look similar. So I start along this line of thinking I'll put before and after and then one of them will flip up and I'll have journaling underneath of it. And then I came across these 
these uh, chipboard pieces and some of them are going to look good on that ice cream flap. So I'll put those up there in a few minutes. So I'm going to use my Tombow Mono Multi Adhesive and I am actually taking off the little film that is over these. I often don't take it off, but it was already coming off of one of them. So it looked a little not so nice and neat. So I thought I'd just take them off. They're shinier when you take off the film and I kind of like the matte, but it's okay. I tried to place them in the same place. It's not, the photo wasn't taken from exactly the same place, but pretty close. I tried to make the photos look the same so you could really see the difference between the before and the after with all the clutter. So since then, I received a new roller date stamp. I actually received two new roller date stamps, both of them uh, given to me by the lovely Diane, who uh, is one of my patrons. And she noticed that I was struggling with only having that roller date stamp that's running out of time and it has designs on it. So she got me two different roller date stamps that have the different date formats. So thank you to her for saving me. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to do my journaling on this card and what I thought I'd do is take some circles and put them at the top but I don't know exactly what I'm going to do there yet so I'm just going to focus on the journaling for now. So my journaling says this and it's usually off the top of the, my head and it, it was off the top of my head this day. So it says after months of using the exercise room as a catch-all for extra household stuff I finally took the time to clean it up and organize my scrappy overflow storage space. It feels great to see the floor again, and it's so easy to find the supplies I need when I need them. I just used a pencil to mark off the space that would be held by that embellishment if I had already stuck it on. That way I'm sure to save some space for the hearts and the little tag. Now, I'm actually going to use that roller date stamp just for the design this time, not for the, uh, for the date. I really like that little design, so I put that to fill up the space on my journaling. Erase those little pencil lines, and now I'm going to stick down the tag first, or the, the banner first, and then I will use Tombow Mono Multi to glue those two layered hearts. One is chipboard and one is wood veneer. They're both from Ellie Edwards Stories by the Month kit this month. Uh, and I thought about uh, coloring this in. Do you guys like my sound, my sound effects this time? I'm doing a lot of funny noises, so my apologies for that. But uh, I don't know what I was thinking. I was going to color those in, and then I that marker was way darker than what I wanted it to be. And plus, my original thought was a fine idea, which is to punch some circles or to find some circle embellishments and just layer them over the circles that are already there. So I'm using a Stampin' Up! Designer Series paper pad here, just a six by six pad. And I have a two inch punch and a two and a half inch punch. It's really the two and a half inch punch that works better with these circles on this particular card. So I'm, I'm punching both because I actually thought I might layer, layer these circles like that, maybe. Yeah, so th I'm sort of thinking about that, but that's not what's going to happen. I'll put all the that paper away and then I will just work on putting, putting these circles just the bottom layer first and then I thought let's just see how this looks first and then we'll decide if I want to put that second layer oh I really like how that looks yeah I don't need an extra layer I like how it looks without it so I'm just going to leave it like that so there we go So now I have this situation where underneath of that, there's another space for a six by four inch photo, which I don't have, or a story, which I also don't have. So I decided I'm just going to leave it the way it was before with a flip and uh, with the before and after being covered. And I'm going to put after on the outside and before on the inside, just because the before shot is really, really cluttered and I didn't want it to be, it's not that I'm hiding the fact that my house has clutter, but more that I just like the look of the spread with the more open photo on the outside. 
Now I'm going to add these chipboard pieces that I discovered. These are from the Ali Edwards Stories by the Month kit. They were in the little bowl and I discovered them as I was looking for something else. I thought they were appropriate for the for the ice cream shop. It says, ah yeah, going places. And then it says doing stuff because Liv and, and dad and <laughs> dad, Liv and Scott were out doing uh, errands together. So I thought that that was appropriate. Now I have this July wood veneer from the Studio Calico documenter kit. And I thought I would put that right under the stars on this yellow card. And I thought I'd like to put a little something else underneath of that, but these hearts are just not the right shape. And I'm not sure that I want something with words on it because I already have the word July. And I thought that just something, I'm trying out different things, but I really think I just need a shape or an image of some sort under there. These are from Heidi Swap. I've had them in my stash for so long. And I really love them. They are sequined arrows. And so I decided to use one of those. There we go. Add a bit of bling to this page. And now this was going to be just a photo that I just put in there, but I decided I'm feeling a lot more creative today than I was the other two days. So I'm thinking I want to add some stamps to this. So I knew I had two game like board game family game night type stamp sets. So this one is from In a Creative Bubble and it has this circle stamp and I've never used this one before. It's a circle stamp and then you can put any of a variety of things inside of the circle. And so I'm gonna stamp this one. It says currently playing. And then on the inside of it, and I'm gonna stamp that in black just with my VersaFine black ink right there on the wall. I love that the walls in that room have like nothing on them so that I can always stamp on the background <laughs> and I almost stamped dominoes I don't know why I grabbed the domino stamp by mistake but then I switched it to the cards and I'm gonna stamp those in red oh isn't that nice just gonna prime it with my eraser and then stamp the cards right in the center oh I really like how that looks I hope I hold it up for you to see because it's so nice oh, I'm not gonna hold it up but trust me, it looks really, really great. You might be able to catch it at the end. I do, I do have the photos at the end. That other game night uh, sticker uh, stamp set, by the way, is from Ellie's Studio. It's a fairly recent one too. They still have it. I was just thinking about whether I wanted. There's another stamp on there that says card playing cards. Uh, and I thought about whether I wanted to add that one as well, but I decided against it. Now with this one, this is a photo of Sophie uh, cleaning out our pantry. We, we did this together, she and I. Uh, we discovered that our the ants had made their way to the pantry, so it was time to make sure that everything was in containers and Ziploc bags and stuff. So I'm just writing on, this is a set of stickers that came in the Studio Calico Documenter Kit for July. Sophie and I put pantry items into sealed bags and containers due to ants. We, ha we usually have ants every year. You know, you get them for a week or two and then you put out the ant killer stuff and then they go away for the rest of the year. Knock on wood, I hope they're gone for good. But uh, last year we didn't actually have any ants at all, ever. And so I was hoping maybe we just wouldn't get them anymore, but no, we got them. I'm stamping this stamp. It just says, it's all messy. And it's a Studio Calico stamp set from a previous kit. I keep that one in my desk beside me because it's a good, a good multi-use one. It's not, I don't store it with my regular stamps. Now there are a few stickers here. One says bring it on and one says these moments. And uh, I just wanted to use those up. I thought about putting something on this photo just to, but really the photo itself has enough drama going on with the colors and the sh like the bold shapes, the circles are really vivid and the colors are really bold. And then that green, like the lining of the container that they're in is also really bold. So I kind of felt like anything that I added would really take away from that. I guess I could have added something like a really bold black, but I just decided not to. Let's go down to this photo of Liv in her bed uh, working on a project. 
And I have these vellum butterflies that I think they came in a Studio Calico documenter kit. And I think they came, or they could have come with a paper person kit, but I've had them for a while. Like I feel like they might be from April or May. And uh, she's working on a video project that's just like, a, she always picks something that she does over the summer. And this year she's making some videos. So she's learning lots about, you know, editing and design and those sorts of things. So I think it's good for her. So I'm just going to adhere that butterfly to the photo and then put the number five because that's how many videos she's making. And then what I'd like to do is put the word videos, but what I really wish is that somebody would make a label maker that makes typewriter font, like so that I could make typewritten labels without having to pull out my typewriter. That's what I would love. But nobody, nobody is doing that for me. So I'm going to use my little Motex label maker here. It's like a Dymo label tape label maker, but it's, uh, not. It's a different brand. It's Motex. The first time I did this, it the the tape didn't advance, so it didn't actually work right, but the second time it did. So I spelled out video. Videos, actually. And this is clear tape, so it's very, very subtle, and that's that's exactly what I wanted, actually. So you can barely see the word video here. Videos. I just cut it down because it was too big for the five. And at some point I'm going to staple that in place because it keeps popping off, which is what happens with the, that Dymo type, type of tape label maker. So then I decided I'd do some hidden journaling here. And so I'm going to pick a card to do that with. And I'm also picking a tab that I can use on my, on my little hidden journaling. So it can just basically slide behind. And because this card is on the right side of the layout, the pocket is on that side. So it'll be able to just slide in behind the four by six card. And I'm just looking at my Tim Holtz chit chat sticker book and I chose be brave. And then I also chose memories for the other side. So I just wrote that journaling and I'm tucking it right behind the photo and uh, not going to draw too much attention to it because it's just private journaling for her. Then I have this photo, which remember I had decided I wasn't going to do anything with, but just put the caption on either side. It says Liv and Sophie drove out to the beach to watch the sunset. Well, I thought I would do some stamping on this because I'm feeling it. So I grabbed these two stamp sets. These are like a night owl and an early riser stamp set. They're both, I think they're both, they go together and they are from Hero Arts. And I decided, I don't know, I, I did this first and here's the difference between a day when you're feeling it and when you're not. So I stamped it there and I was like, oh, wait a second. I would have liked to have made this stamp go like this, kind of like follow the, the line of the horizon. I thought that would be really cool. So it didn't feel like too much of a problem at all to just reprint that and we'll give it another go and, and stamp it this time along the horizon. So meanwhile, I have this version of it, which I could totally practice with, but it's not sticky enough. So I actually have to, like the photo isn't sticky enough, so I can't stick the stamp down to the photo and then pick it up on the block. Instead, I have to move it on the block, check it, move it a bit more on the block, check it, and so on. And so I got it the way that I want it. And then I found out that I actually printed my photo smaller than what I thought I was printing it. Yeah, it's too narrow now. So that's no problem. I'll just print it up again. <laughs> uh, so part of the problem is that I'm printing with my new printer now. And with my old printer, I printed everything a little bit smaller than what I wanted it because it printed a little off. 
And now with my new printer, I just need to stop doing that. So I like to print these at two by four. These are screenshots and uh, I was pointing, I was printing them at 1.8 by 1.8 or 1.9 by 1.0 by 3.9. And uh, it, I just need to print it at the size I want it from now on. So there, I really like how that looks. I need to stamp on my photos more often. I used to do it more and then I stopped and yeah, I need to come back to that. That looks great. So we'll put that stamp set away or those two stamp sets away. And could it be done? Yeah, I think it's done. The only final touches that I need are a couple of tabs every here and there that I forgot to put on. So that one says saying yes, and I staple those because they do tend to pop off of the plastic. And this one says saying no. And uh, then I need one for over here. I, th I think we're done. Yeah, oh yeah, my thumbs up there was about uh, finishing off a whole sheet of those. <laughs> so I get to throw away the backing sheet, which is fun. This one says this and that. And I'm forgetting one, the one with the ice cream. I'll come back to it when I put them in the pockets. So as I mentioned earlier, this video was filmed in real time and shared over on my Patreon feed. So I just wanted to give a great big thanks to my Patreon supporters. These folks help make this channel happen. So a great big thanks to all of them. It's people like Phyllis and Karina and Catherine and Crystal and Jen and Jessica and Martha who really make it possible for me to continue to make videos at the pace that I do. So thanks to them. And also thanks to you for watching this far. I hope that you found this video helpful and in particular I hope that it helps to remind you that sometimes you're not always in the groove of scrapbooking it's okay to take breaks it's okay to put something away for a while and take it out again later and you'll find your groove eventually I did so I hope that you do too take care and have a really great scrappy week